What is up, Dream Media family? This is Zach, and today I am continuing forward with the pool table transformation series. Things are finally coming together. I have received the Salamander Designs cabinet, and I'm gonna be unboxing the Epson LS800 Epic Vision 4K laser projector. This thing is the best in class for the money. I absolutely fell in love with it at Cedia in 2022, and now I have it in my own personal home. All right, guys, let's get into checking this unit out. All right, welcome back, guys. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Epson has been my go-to and favorite manufacturer for years, guys. If you look back on our YouTube channel from years ago, we've been installing these for the last decade, and it's always been our go-to for price and performance. This is still E-Shift technology, which means it's flashing the pixels four times so fast your eye can't notice it, but it's emulating 4K, and Epson is the best in the industry at doing this but they make overhead projectors like the comparable model that this is actually modeled after is the Epson LS12000, which if you don't have to do an ultra short throw setup, call and speak with my specialist and we can discuss if maybe an overhead front throw projector is the right choice for your room. And a lot of dedicated home cinema setups, a standard overhead projector is still going to be the way to go. But for all my guys out there around the country that have flex spaces, and you got windows, 4,000 lumens, <laughs> three LCD lasers, hard to beat. All right, so we got our remote. We have our quick start guide here, and then we have our power cord. All right, so let's go ahead and pull the unit itself out of the box. Whoa. I like those handles. That's nice. Okay, so this unit does come in a white finish as well as a black finish, depending on your decor. And if you're looking behind me, you see this super sleek and clean minimalistic design cabinet. This is from Salamander Designs. I made a whole video on setting this product up and I'll show you how to actually install it in the cabinet here in a little bit. But they make this in a Miami finish as well for the LS800 as well as many other ultra short throw projectors. So if you're interested in other models, call and quiz our specialists. We'll talk about all the different models that are available, but the Miami finish fits really nicely with the white LS800. All right. This is an up close look at the Yamaha system that is built into the unit. It'll get the job done, but guys, speak of my specialist, what we do here at Dream Media is a little bit more high end. This would be comparable to like a entry level sound bar, whereas we can do a full blown surround sound system for you and really make the experience with the LS800 matched with a killer audio system. But they got some side firing and front firing. Got a little port there on the front, not bad but there's definitely better options. So give us a ring, we'll talk about it. On the side of the unit, there's this little screw right here that you can loosen. You stick your hand back into this cavity to unscrew it, and then this side panel pops off. Since I'm using the cabinetry, I don't really care if this is exposed. I just want easy access to all of my connections, but I'm gonna leave this part on here. So if you do need to take this off, there's a little button down here. You just lift in and out like that. All right, continuing on the back of the unit, you can see here you have a little adjustment for the feet. That's so that you can change the pitch of the projector if, say, your cabinet isn't level. I did level my cabinet, so the projector should just stay level in this position whenever I drop it in. I want it to line up super clean with the top of this cabinetry so you can barely even see it. Next, we're going to be looking at the HDMI ports and all the control ports. As far as connections, we have a circuit service port, DC out, as well as headphone out, USB-A, optical out, USB-A, and then three HDMI connections. We have our HDMI 1, HDMI 2, which does have the audio return channel, ARC built in, which is super nice in case you're going to use some of the smart features that are built into the unit. That'll take, that's your audio return channel. It takes all the audio from, say, you're watching Netflix out to your receiver. And then you have another input for game. In my situation, I am going to be using an AVR 
car. We are gonna be using the Marant Cinema 50 over there. And basically we're just gonna take one HDMI cable, do HDMI number two, and all of our devices are gonna be connecting into the Marant Cinema 50 for decoding our audio and our video. All right, Dream Media family, that is a wrap on my quick unboxing of the new Epson LS800 Ultra Short Throw Laser Projector. This thing is going to be killer in my home here in Colorado. Because we have all the windows and I wanted a nice bright image, the Epson was at the top of my list and I just had to have it. So make sure to stay tuned to the channel. Follow along with my series here. I did a complete walk walkthrough on how to retro wire this room for a 7.4.6 Dolby Atmos system as well as showing you guys a bunch of other fun things like how to make ethernet cables, how to make subwoofer cables, how to hook up RGB lights, how to set up the salamander cabinet, how to set up the screen. So just very, very precise detail and long format videos. You guys have been asking for it, so I'm delivering. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and make sure to some smash that subscribe button down below. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys in detail, step by step, how to set up and align your brand new Epson LS800.